back to the Aquarium Garden Showroom. I'm Dave and I'm here with some updates on our Awaze Scaper Line Aquarium. I've upgraded the lighting today and installed a new light. I've also planted a new carpet along the front here. So we're going to take a bit of a closer look in a minute. I'll grab the camera and we'll zoom in and I'll run through uh, what I've been doing today. Thanks for watching. So this is the Awaze Scaper Line 60 Aquarium. It's 60 centimetres in length. 35 front to back and 35 centimetres tall. Uh, it's a really nice sized aquarium, a bit like a 60p, apart from it's a, uh, a bit deeper front to back, so it gives you a bit of extra wiggle room. Uh, glass, obviously opti white, very minimal silicon, uh, beautiful mitered corners, which make this uh, it's a bit of a USP for this tank and make it a bit different. Um, yeah, we've had this scape for quite a while, this tank. Um, it had a twin star E light on there and um, we decided to upgrade the lighting today because we've got this new Life Aqua um, Prime Pro EX600. And now they come with, they're not only pendant lights, they come with these fancy acrylic brackets. So you can actually uh, fix them to the side of your aquarium without having to suspend them above the tank with you know lighting hanging kits or hanging them from the ceiling. So. You can use them in the same way as you would traditionally, as we always have done with a, uh, a twin star light and mount them on the side of the aquarium. Um, so beautiful. Um, you don't really want to be hanging a 60 centimetre light over a tank anyway. The brackets and everything look like a bit of a unit over the top of a small tank. It doesn't really suit it. So it's much more convenient and, uh, and a bit sleeker having it just resting on the tank here. Um, so the reason why I updated uh, changes lights today was because I decided that I wanted to I think for the first time ever but I'm not sure um, do a Ricardia camera dry folia carpet um, which we've basically done in other tanks before but um, not sort of dedicated um, sometimes Ricardia finds its way to the bottom of the tank and starts carpeting anyway um, but basically I've moved all the Ricardia from that was growing on the Dragonstone and uh, on the hardscape and I've moved it all down to the floor uh, down here we had like a, a sand floor, I think it was a Kimmeran or Cimarron sand down here. Uh, it's quite a natural sort of beach area. And um, I, yeah, I say I wanted to carpet the Ricardia, but the Twin Star E lights that we had on the tank previous um, just isn't capable or isn't as good as growing a carpet on the floor because it's, it's not as strong as the, um, you know, the S light, the Twin Star S or this new light that I've put on. I really wanted to make sure this carpet is very um, dense and um, low growing. I don't want it to be straggly or anything. I want it to be very, very tight growth. And in order to do that, we need uh, a light that can penetrate and is very bright at the bottom of the tank. <clears throat> um, so I know the, I know the Life Aqua uh, Prime Pro lights very well. We've got one, as I say, running on Pavel's tank over there. Um, this tank needs a trim. Um, I'm gonna do that, I think Friday or maybe tomorrow, I'll be trimming that. Um, but I'm very familiar with the lights. Um, it's very good on colours. As you can see, the red in the middle there is absolutely fantastic. It's such a deep coloured red. If we go up close to it, um, you can see there. And the greens, I mean, just so vivid, intense, saturated greens, lovely colour rendition overall. So I know this is a good light and I know it's capable of penetrating the bottom of this tank very well and hopefully matting this Ricardia uh, very tightly. Um, so that was the idea. I've also experimented with something else um, on this as well. In, on the floor underneath the carpet, I have uh, put down volcano mineral. Um, so as just that's the only la uh, only layer, uh, nothing on top. Uh, traditionally, normally we would put down a volcano mineral underneath uh, soil as like a bottom layer, kind of like a filtering layer, good for bacteria, good for oxygen and water flow. Um, I've actually used it as a, as a, a ground, a uh, foreground layer of substrates uh, with nothing on top. Uh, in my mind, it, I feel like it's going to work. I feel like the Ricardi has got something to grapple onto. This uh, volcano mineral is basically crushed lava stone, very porous. And I feel like this uh, Ricardi is going to stick to it quite ni quite nicely. Um, the other benefit of, um, of this is your volcano mineral is basically acting as a second filter. It's basically essentially biomedia. You could probably use this in your filter quite effectively. Um, but what this is going to be doing is breaking down waste easier. I say all the bacteria and uh, as a result of the oxygen and water flow through this um, porous media is going to hopefully break down waste. I know from the past from growing Ricardia, a lot of waste and mulm and 
dirt and stuff underneath accumulates underneath the the moss uh, quite quickly so we often have to lift off the moss and siphon it all away um, in my head the volcano mineral is hopefully going to process some of that um, waste accumulation a bit quicker um, and it might keep the underside of the the ricardia moss a little bit um, a little bit cleaner as a result so in my mind it, it works i've never actually used a volcano mineral like this before but this is what partly what the showroom's here for is for trying new things and um so yeah hopefully a, a nice uh, healthy uh, filter bed underneath the moss and also uh, uh, in my head the moss will hopefully stick down and stay down onto the uh, volcano mineral a bit easier we will soon find out but yeah at the moment really happy i've just basically layered established uh, mature moss on top of that volcano mineral and just patted it down um the color rendition from the light is making it a very nice deep dark green uh, so really happy with that it's quite bright down there as well a lot brighter than it was before with the twin star e so let's see how how that one goes um this tank's been running for oh, over six months maybe eight or nine eight, eight or nine months now i think i'd have to look back on uh on our social media posts and things um one thing i did notice when adding the light today um myself and arianne put the light on and immediately just were wowed by the Rotala. Um, it suddenly went to this very intense pink. It was kind of a pinky orangey color before, uh, not quite as vivid and, and you know intense pink as it is now. So it just goes to show what uh, lighting can do. And you know, light is not just the lights, the color rendition, the power, the spread, the quality of the light, the mixing of the light, it's all very important. It all makes up what essentially is a good or is not a good light. Um, so you pay, you pay extra for this light and this is a premium light um off the top of my head it is 400 pounds i can't remember exactly um i will check after this video and write it in the description um, but it is a premium light for a 60 centimeter light that is you know top whack top whack um in this uh in this hobby um but it is a it is a solid unit and this is gonna this is a light that's gonna last you a long long time um it weighs so much um the brackets are really cool they are really really clear acrylic almost look so so shiny um and it's so clear and the uh the brackets they fit like this so rather than the lip going inside the aquarium where it can touch the water it's actually resting on the outside of the aquarium now i find that's really good for us we've got quite hard water and if the lip is inside the aquarium the hard water lime scale effectively accumulates on the bottom of the light and, and ruins the bracket of the light long term so something that perhaps life aqua have thought about here um by with these brackets so quite impressed with that it doesn't exactly fit flush with the side of the aquarium uh panel there but it's clear acrylic it's a few millimeters you barely even notice it um I i'd be really picky if i was saying that was a downside to the light really um you can control this light with your app you can change the colors and everything um i'm not really a fan of that because it's just too much playing around and you're guessing at what is the right lights and the right color and everything so i've just used the presets and i think it's on natural setting at the moment you can set the presets with this button here and if you want to go into the app and connect to your wi-fi you can use this button here and you know play to your heart's content with the light but i generally don't uh mess around with the settings of the lights too much i like the presets i like it when the manufacturer has tested the lights and has told you that this is the best color rendition both for growing plants making your plants look really really good um to your eye as well and uh, maximizing you know plant growth they've done the research they've done the testing they've set it for you like this so i say go with it um that's what most most like manufacturers do in this hobby like twin star ada um they all have they're not adjustable lights you can't control the colors or anything but they have done the work for you and they're telling you how to use the light um so it's making it easy as possible and uh, as best as possible for the consumer, the customer who is us. Um, we, we want a light, we want to put it on the tank, we want it to work and grow plants really well. So um, yeah, that's what I love about all the lighting ranges that we do, you can, they're plug and play. We'll be running this light on 100%, um, which is what we do on, with most lights uh, these days. If we're running a, a CO2 tank with, you know, uh, hard plants, um, fine, finely textured plants, uh, the best way to get the most out of your plants is to have your lights running on full power um, and usually the resulting plant growth the very lush healthy plant growth from your powerful lighting uh, gets stops the algae growing if your plants are growing really well 
than algae doesn't. Um, that's the idea. So, um, yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'll probably just do a quick scan of the actual uh, showroom here. Uh, some of the lights are off. Uh, is the end of the day. Uh, the, the light screen on the 1500 is off, but gives a kind of different feel to the tank, actually, I've just noticed when the light screen's off. The, the greens are very, very pronounced against the, um, the background there, uh, the dark background. So it gives a different feel, a different mood, actually. I, I quite like it. But normally we have this very bright white uh, light screen on the back that uh, contrasts very well against the greens and, and gives it a bit of bling and lights it up at the back. A bit like some of our other, other tanks here. Uh, this is the Aquascaper 1200 with an ONF light. Been running for a long time, about a year now. Here we have the Aquascaper 600. Beautiful Liliopsis carpet there. Very slow growing and low maintenance, love that. Uh, touching again on Pavel's tank. Again, I need to trim that tank. Uh, I'm gonna open up the foreground tomorrow and go back to a white sand, which is what Pavel originally um, did in his layouts. Uh, over here we've got the Iwagumi, which is plain sailing now, uh, since we took the Elatine out. Uh, I've got hair grass along the front there, and yeah, it's looking great. Super impactful, big rocks, bold uh, plant growth, happy fish. And we've got George's tank here as well. The backlight has gone off. Uh, added some rummy nose textures, which was amazing because they suddenly made the uh, green neons a lot more confident you wouldn't even know there's any fish in this tank before believe it or not and we added the rummy nose and that's massively changed thing things in in this tank overall very very happy with the growth uh in the tank has been very problem free i must say uh, but that is partly down to the amounts of plants we put there in the beginning it's almost a formula a recipe for success when you're planting heavily using strong lighting and lots of co2 getting all the ingredients right and you know you do the maintenance and it's a recipe for success uh, the way we do things around here hopefully if you replicate it you can replicate this yourself and anyone can have a stunning uh, aquascape in their home provided they've got the right equipment which we will advise on and they look after the tank appropriately which we will also advise on so um, what you're looking at now you can have at home uh, we will show you how to do it and what you need basically so do get in contact or in touch or pop in the shop is the best thing to do um, if you want to chat and want to get into the hobby or want to advance yourself in the hobby as well. Uh, come in and we can, uh, we can do that for you. We can help you out. I'm going to leave it there. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed the updates on this Awate Scaper Line 60 with our, our new Prime Pro light from Life Aqua. Let's see how it goes with this Ricardio carpet. I'm a little bit obsessed with the Ricardio actually, um, but I do love it. Let's see how it goes with this new light. Take care, catch you again.